I'm actually a medical school dropout. And that was by choice. What brings me fulfillment is creating a tangible item that somebody else can appreciate, touch, feel, and use. So functional art. I make medical training devices for nurses, physicians, surgeons, all clinical professionals to practice their trade. And really try to ask these clinicians, hey, what can we do better? Is there anything whatsoever that we can do better? Can it look more realistic? Can it function more realistic? Which is most important to me. Once we saw that what we can make is vastly superior to what we can buy on the market, it was obvious to go ahead and start our own lab and start developing these products ourselves. As far as we know, there is nobody who is actively producing refined prototypes and taking it to the next stage of marketing, certainly not to this level. This is where the project starts, um, kind of get all of the kinks worked out, problem solved on paper, and then I can start putting tools to clay. The layers of realism kind of start with pigmentation, trying to get the pigments right, getting the feel of the tissues right, but then you can add blood effects. Special effects need to be convincing for a couple, three, four, five frames. My work has to be realistic and convincing for maybe 30 minutes of somebody actually being there. And it has to function. It has to, it has to have real anatomy. The realism, the reducing the reality gap, making things look and feel and behave as realistic as possible. This task trainer was designed for, for NICU nurses to practice intravenous access or putting in an IV, a needle, into the small vessels of really small, sick babies. For our applications, these organic forms, traditional sculpting and mold making techniques are the best tools. Once we see silicone come out the top here, we know that there's no air in the system. And then we can go ahead and birth this baby like. This is good, this is a usable trainer, but if we want to really enhance the realism, let's try to make it not look so flat. That is how you make a neonatal IV task trainer, lower limbs, skin. I want to create the most useful product as possible in order to reduce negative patient outcomes. If I were practicing medicine today, I have no doubt that I would go all in and I would have a positive effect on the patients that I treated. Would I have the reach that I do now? Probably not. I'm able to, to help train the next crop of medical students who will ultimately be physicians. So um, I, I have no doubt that I'm having a positive impact on patients and the patient care.